Our adventure today starts at the Straits of Mackinac, where the iconic ferry boats make trip after trip, day after day, carting passengers and parcels to Mackinac Island. And for many Michigan families, taking a ferry ride to the island has become a tradition that spanned generations. Many of the boats have been in service for decades, but now a brand new state-of-the-art vessel has been added to the lineup that's sure to make many more Michigan memories for years to come. We now head to Mackinac City to meet the Shepler family and their newest addition, the William Richard. On this morning, like countless others, anxious visitors to Mackinac Island board one of the many ferries that cross the Straits each day. But this morning is special. This morning, the William Richard, the newest addition to the Shepler's Mackinac Island ferry fleet, is making its maiden voyage. But even with years and years of service lying ahead, this vessel might never have been if it weren't for the years and years leading up to this brisk October morning. To begin this tale, we need to go back over 70 years. Our history dates back to 1945 when my grandfather started this company with a six passenger speedboat. All hours of the night, he would get up, start the boat, all sorts of weather, and, t and take him to Mackinac Island. So that's kind of how it started. My grandfather was a fisherman, so he's, he'd had his captain's license. The young Shepplers literally grew up here on this pier, jetting out into the waters of Lake Huron, where their boats are still docked today. Paradise in the summer for sure, but the winters on the Straits, not so much. Made even worse when your house is a tiny trailer on a windy dock. Yeah, I remember times in, that we had to get out on the lee side of the trailer because the windward side of the trailer was covered in two feet of ice when we'd have storms that come through here that would, it would, it would freeze the trailer shut basically. Chris, along with his brother and two sisters, were put to good use on the docks by dad and grandpa, taking in everything they could about the business, boats, and life on the Great Lakes. Fortunately for me, I was around at a time where my grandfather was still alive. You know, he had so much time and experience on the Great Lakes, all over the Great Lakes. You know, he's one of the reasons why uh, I am a captain today. It was ice cream cones in between trips. It was. Uh, swimming in between trips. It was riding the boat because that's what I did. That was my summer camp. And everyone said, did you go camping in the summer? I said, no, my camping was, was right here on the shores of Lake Huron in Mackinac City. As time passed, the family grew and mountains of memories were made. And not just by the Shepler family, but by the countless other families that started their Mackinac Island adventures with a ride on one of their vessels. William H. Shepler passed away in 1988, and leadership of the business turned to his son, William R., and in 2014, it was time for the third generation of Sheplers to take the helm. It's been a heck of a 75-year run. Third generation we're into right now, which is, uh, I think, pretty impressive. They always say the first generation creates it, the second generation takes it to the level that it's at right now and then the third generation spends all the money and messes it all up. So myself and my siblings are doing everything in our power to not let that happen and carry on the tradition of Shepler's Mackinac Island Ferry. Miss Margie was built in 2015. The next earliest boat was 1986, the Cap Shepler. I was fortunate enough to bring that boat up along with my father and my grandfather up the Mississippi River, which is a trip that I'll never forget. But in going along on that trip and other boats that we've had that have come up the river, we haven't had much involvement with as far as planning and or design and or production. With the success of the Miss Margie a few years prior, the Shepplers decided it was time to build another boat. Something custom that would serve the particular needs of ferry travel to Mackinac Island. But this time, they wouldn't need to head down the Mississippi River. They'd only have to go as far as their own backyard. They teamed up with Moran Ironworks, just down the road in the town of Onaway. Their massive shop more than adequate enough to build an 80-foot ferry boat. The toughest part, I feel, is going through the planning process, especially working with a company like Moran Ironworks that has such a forethought, meaning that they're looking down the road more at the end of the project before the project even starts. When they get those plans, they spend about a month to two months of detail work 
from there, it goes into production where the first arc that is laid about seven months later, there's a boat. So the process from conception to the planning phase, that took us about two years. The process from the detailing phase to production takes about seven months. Our business has grown. The industry in our area has changed. With that has come along with the increased traffic. Accessibility is, is becoming an issue. There's more need for accessibility. Technology has changed so much to make the boat become quite a bit more efficient. That's a driving force too. So now that we know how we got here, it's time to take a closer look at the finer points of the William Richard. 81 feet long. She's gonna hold 210 passengers. She's got 3,200 horsepower, and it's all jet drives, which is completely different than the propulsion units that we have on our other ferry boats, which are all propeller driven. The Hamilton Jets, uh, it's a new AVX control system. It's the first commercial application in the United States, so we're pretty proud of that. Just as the first coats of paint were being applied to the ferry, the proverbial roof caved in on the project with the arrival of the COVID-19 pandemic. Production was impacted significantly, but thankfully the delay didn't stop them from being able to get their new ship in the waters of Lake Huron. In July 2020, they launched their new ferry into the water for the first time. Years of hard work and painstaking attention to detail culminated with a collective sigh of relief. We got about 11 hours on it with various captains, which we just had a ball. And But at that point in time, seeing it in the water, all of that is, is I don't want to say a heavy weight on you, but it's like, oh man, I hope it works. I hope this all works. Please let it all work. And then the processes that you go through after it gets put in the water, that and then the first engine gets started, and then it starts doing things that it's supposed to do. It's, whew, thank goodness. So it's a great feeling. Now that they knew it would float, the next step was to take it up to Mackinac City and park it in their paint bay, where the William Richard would wait to be adorned with the signature Shepler Blue. So the stage that it's in right now is we're probably 85% finished with it. As you can see, the superstructure is completely done. And then from there, we'll start to install seats, we'll start to install carpet. But we plan on sometime the end of September, first part of October, getting her into the system, getting her on the run with passengers and freight to find out what her capabilities are. Before the final touches get added and she's put into service, Chris takes us on a tour of the nearly completed vessel. Yeah, we're down here in the engine room of the William Richard. We have four engines. They're Yanmar engines. They're uh, a little different than, than our other vessels. Um, they're 804 horsepower apiece. These are all uh, run shaft, run right to, to pumps. And those pumps are for the jets that just grab the water, uh, compress the water, and then it gets shot out the back. After the engine room, we head to the Baron Pilot House, where we find one of the smallest, yet undoubtedly coolest pieces of tech on board. We run the boat in and around the dock with the toggle. We're, we're coming into the harbor, but then we push this button. That activates this, deactivates the steering wheel. Whatever you want to do with the vessel, you just do. With this boat, we're going to go sideways just walking the boat sideways, which we can't do now, and that's simply doing this. Such an impressive vessel deserved a fitting name. Former boats in the Shepler's fleet had been named after sailboats from the 17th century, like the Welcome and the Wyandotte. But with their newer boats, they decided to keep the names in the family. We started it with the Cap Shepler back in the late 80s, um, named after my grandfather. He was still alive, got to ride on the boat, and, and then came the Miss Margie. My grandmother had passed away, and we were trying to decide what we should name the boat, and Miss Margie, absolutely. That was really easy to do. This one was just as easy, and so instead of naming it, you know, the, the Billy Dick, um, we thought that it would be better to be a little more formal with the William Richard name, and uh, my dad was very happy that, that we thought of that as children to, to honor him and his legacy here at, at Shepler's. The real-life William Richard, Bill Sr., is now in his 80s and can still be found greeting guests and directing traffic on the dock. And when we asked him what keeps him coming back to work on the pier each day... What the hell am I going to do for credit? I can only play so much golf. <laughs> no, I enjoy being here. It's been my life for 75 years. 
But this day wasn't like any other day. This day in October, Bill was in for a real treat as he got to man the helm of the boat that bears his name. It's a sincere treat, I'm so proud. So proud that somebody is here to take over, because I took over from my mom and dad and uh, managed the business for about 50 years. They're, they're enthusiastic, they're proud of the business, and they're making it go. They have great ideas, so we should do fine. If you'd like to learn more about the William Richard and the entire Shepler story, information can be found on their website, sheplersferry.com.